Welcome to Zen 10 uh, with Jackie Rose of Rejuventangle. We're on day five. It's shading day. So let's take a nice deep breath in and out. Feeling totally relaxed. And all you need today is your pencil and your tutyon. So when I count to three, hold up your tutyon and say tut to yon. One, two, three. Tut to yon. Very good. That's the tortillon toast that gives you permission to use the tortillon at a class by Jackie Rose. Okay, so now let's see. We started out with the first thing we drew, not that you have to go in order, but I kind of like to sometimes, were these lines. Remember the lines we drew on Monday, that first day? So I think what we'll do here is, uh, I'm gonna give it a little shading. So we're just gonna give a little bit of graphite on the tips of each one of these white lines. Now you can shade any way you want. Right? There's more than one way to shade and always listen to your own intuition, your own inner artist. So this is what I'm just suggesting today. This is one way out of many to shade. And then once you've got a little graphite on either end of these sections, you can just blend them in, smooth it out. So the white, you still have got that white in the middle, but you just got a little bit of shading on either end of these lines. Push it up a little bit if you want to. Okay, so now let's move into the um, center here. So we're going to this is Poser. So we're just going to give Poser a shaded outline of the whole section. All right, so I just went around just right in the line, staying on the edge, and then taking the tortillon facing the line, the border, and blending that in. Smoothing that out, blending that in, turning your tile, your sketchbook, your paper to get a nice comfortable angle. And we'll do that with each section, each one of the poser patterns. Notice the difference between the ones that are shaded and the ones that aren't yet. You can really see how this one looks like it's coming off the paper. So shading really gives it that 3D look, makes it pop. Really changes the look. It's like a finishing touch. Okay. And then one more to go on my end. And what I like about the shading is it's really, it's helping it separate from the other patterns like these orbs and uh, the cooties down here or the, yeah. So it helps uh, separate the patterns a little bit.
And now we're going to move over to Pepper. So I'll put my light on. And we're going to put a little graphite right along the edges as well, just where the white is. You don't have to go over the black, but you can. So just around the perimeter, just like we did with Poser just, just now. And just going right along the edges. Again, you can see the difference between what's shaded and what's not. It really makes a difference. So do that with everyone. So the next thing we're going to shade is, I think we'll do a little bit of shading right above these orbs. So kind of like uh, into the triangular part. So we're above the orbs, not in them, because I want those to stand out a little bit more. So I'm just putting a little bit of graphite right above those orbs. And I might even come up a little bit on the sides of the triangles there of the pattern hemp. But I'm going to go right there. You might even be able to use what's left on your tortillon if it's a real small area. Okay, so now we're going to shade one more area, just one more, and we're going to just go right along the bottom of that line, right along the perimeter, just right inside or the outer, all around the perimeter of this pattern right inside each one of these lines. And then with your tortillon, you just blend that in, staying very close to that outer line, outer edge. And when you're done, you want to sign your artwork any way you want, with your initials, your name, your chop, and turn it around and see how different it looks depending on which direction it is in. And take a moment and really appreciate what you've done this week, or at least today, and admire it. And please post this on the designated Facebook page that will be posted up today or whatever if, if you're watching this after Friday, uh, December 30th, uh, not December, sorry, October 30th. 
Um, so this is a, a, a web design for in, in honor of Halloween. And doesn't look like a very scary or ugly web, but it's a web pattern. And uh, I think I, we did a nice job with it. I can't wait to see what everyone has done. And again, please give this video a thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Uh, post a copy of what you did on the designated Facebook page that will be up there sometime today on October 30th. And I look forward to seeing you on Monday where we'll start a whole new week.